Okay, students, I'm going to try to help you a little bit with some of these irregular shapes. I did notice that several of you, when you were finding volume of prisms, were needing a little review on finding the area of a base. Remember, just to review that concept before we get into this problem, the volume of any prism is the area of the base times the height. And when I mean height, I mean the height that is perpendicular from the base. So if I have a prism that's kind of slanted like this one, this is the world's ugliest prism I'm drawing on here, but you get the idea. If I have a slanted prism, I would have to go down at a right angle to the base to find the height. So the height I'd be talking about would be this green thing right here. So it was parallel to the plane that contained the base. That green line would be the height. If you had a length of that slanted uh, blue edge, this uh, edge that I'm going over in a lighter blue here, that is not the height. The height would be the green line, the perpendicular distance there. Uh, but let's go ahead and look at area of the base here. Uh, what it looks like I have here is I have a parallelogram that has been surrounded by two semicircles. And they were really nice to go ahead and give you the base and the height of this parallelogram. So the area of the parallelogram is base times height. That works for a parallelogram or a rectangle, a square, as long as the base and height are equal. So I have 8 uh, is my base. My height is 24. So 8 times 20. I'm sorry, that's probably backwards from the way you would think about it. So let's try that again. My base is 24. My height is 8. Doesn't really matter as far as the answer is concerned, but might be easier to follow if we do it that way. And then I just need to do 24 times 8 to get my answer. And that would be a 192. Now, of course, this is not my final answer because all that is is of the parallelogram that I have in blue. I also have these pair of semicircles. And one thing I want you to think about, if I have a pair of semicircles, since they both have the same um, radius, since this is a parallelogram, uh, if this side here is 12, this side here is 12, both those semicircles have the same diameter of 12, and they'll both have a radius of 6 because the radius is half the diameter. So if my radius is 6, uh, what I'm going to have there for my area of my circle, area is pi r squared. So I'm going to have pi times 6 squared, and then that will give me an answer of 36 pi for my area. So if I have a 36 pi for my area of the semicircle and 192, then what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to just add my 192 and my 36 pi. So I go over to Desmos, 192 plus 36. And once again, you can use your pi symbol or if you've got a keyboard, just type in pi for pi. And that's 305 Point one should be your correct answer. We'll test it out and see if it's right. Rounding to one decimal place. And looks like we got that one. Let's go ahead and try one more. Uh, this one, instead of adding a shape, they have a rectangle and they've cut a shape out of it. So if you'll notice what they have cut out of this rectangle is this is there is actually a semicircle cut out of it. And remember, a semicircle is just half of an entire circle. So if I were to think of the entire circle there, uh, it would keep going around and my semicircle would be just half of that circle. So let's go ahead and find a couple different things. First of all, I'm going to find the area of this circle. So let's get it back in green. My area is pi r squared. So then I'm going to have pi times in this case, my radius is 3 because if the diameter of that circle is 6, the length of my rectangle, I'm going to have a radius of 3. So the area of that circle is 9 pi. So the area of just the semicircle is going to be 9 pi over 2. I just divide by 2, and that gives me my answer of just that green semicircle there. The entire circle is 9 pi, 9 pi over 2, or 4.5 pi would be the area of the semicircle. Now the area of this rectangle, just think about the entire rectangle. I'm going to mark it in blue. That area there would just be 9 times 6, which is 54. And in this case, instead of needing to 
add on the semicircle, I'm going to subtract it off. So I'm going to go back to Desmos. I'm going to do 54 divide, minus 9 pi over 2. So 54 minus 9 pi over 2. And that's a 36 point, I'm sorry, 39.9 should be the answer there. So once again, an answer of 39.9, and that should be correct. Hope this helps you with this uh, part of your lesson. And remember, you'll also need to just break, if you've got, anytime you've got a weird shape, even if it's a base of a prism, you can break it down this way to find the area of that base that is very useful when you're finding volume and surface area.